Rusty. Come here, Rusty. Where are you off to, Rusty? Hello, Smudge. You're not going into the woods, are you? Just for a look. You won't get me in there. It's dangerous. Henry said he went into the woods once. That fat old tabby never went into the woods. He's hardly been beyond his own garden since his trip to the vet. All he wants to do is eat and sleep. No, really, he caught a robin there. Well, if he did, it's bef it was before the vet. Now he complains about the birds disturbing his dozing. Well, anyway, Henry told me there are all sorts of dangerous um, wild animals out there. Huge wildcats who eat live rabbits and scratch their claws on bones. I'm only going for a look around. I won't stay long. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. You put up quite a fight for a tame kitty. I'll fight you again if I have to. I'm Graypaw, by the way. I'm training to be a Thunder Clan warrior. What's a kitty pet like you doing out in the woods? Um, don't you know it's dangerous? If you're the most dangerous thing the woods has to offer, I think I can handle it. Oh, I'm far from dangerous. If I, if I were even half a warrior, I'd have given an intruder like you some real wounds to think about. Anyway, I didn't think it was worth hurting you. You're obviously from not one of, from not one of the other clans. Other clans? You must have heard of the four warrior clans that hunt around here. I belong to Thunder Clan. The other clans are always trying to take our prey. From our territory, especially um, Shadow Clan. They're so fierce they would have ripped you to shreds. No questions asked. They come to take prey that is rightfully ours. It's the job of the Thunder Clan warriors to keep them out of our territory. When I'm finished my training, I'll be so dangerous I'll have the other clans shaking their flea bitten skins. They won't dare come near us again. So you're not a warrior yet. Why? Did you think I? I won't be a real warrior for ages. I have to go through training first. Kids have to be six moons old before they begin training. Tonight is my first night out as an apprentice. Why don't you find yourself a nice owner with a nice cozy house instead? Your life would be so much easier. There are plenty of households who would take a kitten in like you. All you have to do is sit where they can see you and look hungry for a couple of days. And they feed me pellets that look like rabbit droppings and soft slop. No way. I can't think of anything worse than being a kitty pet. They're nothing but... Two-legged toys. Eating stuff that doesn't look like food. Making dirt in a box of gravel. Sticking their noses outside only when their two legs allow them. That's no life. Out here, it's wild and, and it's free. You've come and go as we... Until you've tasted a fresh mouse, you haven't lived. Have you ever tasted mouse? No, not yet. I guess you'll never understand. You 
weren't born wild, it makes a big difference. You you need to be born with warrior blood in your veins or feel the wind in your whiskers. Kitties born in a, into a two-leg nest could never feel the same. That's not true! You should go. I smell cats from my clan. They won't be pleased to find you hunting here. Quick, run! What's going on here? Star. You shouldn't be so near the two-leg place, Graypaw. I know, Lionheart. I'm sorry. Who is this? He's no threat. He's not another clan warrior, just a two-legged pet from beyond our territories. This is Blue Star. And that's Lionheart. He's my mentor. Thank you for the introduction, Graypaw. You fight well for a two-leg pet. We've been watching you both. We wanted to see how you would deal with an intruder. You fought him bravely. Sit up now, both of you. You reacted well to, uh, to the attack, kitty pet. Graypaw is stronger than you, but you use your wits to defeat him. And you turned to face him and he chased you. I've never seen a kitty pet do that before. I have, uh, we patrol the two-leg place often, and I've also, uh, often seen you sit, <coughs> sitting on your boundary. Staring into the forest. And now at last, you have dared to come out here. You have a natural hunting ability. Sharp eyes. You would have caught that mouse if you hadn't hesitate, hesitated for so long. R r really? Blue Star, this is a kitty pet. He should not be hunting in ThunderClan territory. Send him tone to his two legs. Send me home? But I've only come to hunt for a mouse or two. I'm sure there's enough to go around. There's never got enough to go around. If you didn't live such a soft, overfed life, you would know that. Well? I'm no threat to your clan. You threaten our clan when you take our food. You have plenty of two food back at your two-leg place. You only come to hunt for sport, but we hunt to survive. I had not thought of it that way before. I will not hunt here anymore. You are an unusual kitty pet, Rusty. Is survival here really so hard? Our territory only covers part of the forest. We compete with the other clans for our food. And this year, new leaf, new leaf is scarce. New leaf is late, so the prey is scarce. Is your clan very big? Big enough. Our territory can support, but there is no prey left over. Are you all warriors then? Some are warriors. Some are warriors. Some are too young, or too old, or too busy caring for kids to hunt. And you all live and share prey together? Perhaps you would like to find out for yourself. Would you like to join ThunderClan? If you do, it would mean you would train with Grape Paul to become a warrior. But kitty, pe but kitty pets can't be warriors. They don't have warrior blood. Warrior blood. Too much of that has been spilled lately. Blue Star is only offering you training, young kid. There's no guarantee that you would become a full warrior. It might prove too difficult for you. After all, you are lo used 
to a comfortable life. Why offer me the chance, then? You are right to question our motives, young one. ThunderClan needs more warriors. Understand that Blue Star does not make this offer lightly. If you wish to train with us, you were taken you into our clan. You must either live and respect our ways or return to your two legs and never come back. You cannot live with a paw in each world. I can tell you are still a Tom. What do you mean, still a Tom? You haven't been taken by your two legs. You haven't been taken by your two legs to the cutter yet. You will be a you will, you would be a very different cat then. Not so keen to fight a clan cat, I suppose. The clan may not be able to offer you such easy food or warmth. The clan will demand great loyalty and hard work. You will be expected to protect the clan with your life if, if necessary. And there are many months to feed, but the rewards are great. You will remain a Tom. You will be trained in the ways of the wild. You will learn what is, what will always be with you, even when you hunt alone. Come, Blue Star. We must not wait and waste any more time here. Tiger Claw will wonder what became of us. Wait, can I think about your offer? Lionheart will be here tomorrow at sun high. Give him your answer then.